Hello, good day, and welcome to today's daily stock market analysis. Uh, in this uh, last week, we have a look at what the stock market has done. We I mentioned that the Dow was uh, trying to break out of probably forming a triangle. So let me just draw it, and well, it had rarely up on Friday and today it is trying to break out of a triangle now usually when a triangle happens it will resolve itself into the direction of the previous trend the previous trend is up so we can actually expect the market to go up okay now uh, right now it is breaking out but we do not know whether the stock market will shoot just up very fast or go up and then go down and then go up again so what you need to do is to always check the smaller time frames of what is likely to happen uh, now one thing you got to remember is that the triangle the apex can be a support area so in the event that the Dow goes up and then corrects right, you should start to look if there's support around here and try to look at the smaller time frames to see whether a bounce up might happen let me just switch to the 60 minute chart and do some multiple time frame analysis now as you can see the Dow has already been breaking out of the triangle line here and it's staying above the 20 MA and also the rising 50 MA some time ago, it broke out of a 60-minute triangle. Yeah, you can see, let me just draw this 60-minute triangle. Uh, okay. It broke up, it hovered around a bit, and then it shoot up. I think right now, uh, it has more than met its target. Now, if we take the height of this pattern and then we project it upwards it has more than met the initial target so the extra run up here is a bonus and if Dow can continue to stay trade sideways and then break out then it will go higher so you have to be careful I think we can draw a box something okay let me see if I can draw a box here uh, let me find a box. Okay. All right. If we can trade like this within the box and then break out, then it will be something good. Okay. Now let's have a look at the S and P five hundred. The S&P 500 futures, the 60-minute chart has also broken out uh, of a triangle and that is something good for us. Right now, it's in a 60-minute uptrend and we continue to remain bullish on it till the trend changes. If the S&P 500 can also break, can also, uh, let me just draw this box here, can trade sideways and then break out then it will be good if not there might be some correction down here okay but at this moment you can see the trend is up okay the s p 500 is above the rising 20 ma and above the rising 50 ma when stocks or index is above the rising 20 and 50 ma that means it's in an uptrend and right now it's in an uptrend in the 60 minute chart let's switch to the daily chart of the S&P 500 futures and I just delete the drawings here so that you can see it clearly now uh, I mentioned last week that it is trying to break out of a triangle and right now you can see that it's very obvious it has lead the Dow and broke up higher of course the Nasdaq has already broken out higher and when the Nasdaq leads usually it's good for the market can see how the nice rally up plus we anticipate that it's going to break a downtrend line as well as a break above a 60 minute ascending triangle which is why it 
shot up so fast so nice right now it is gapping up a bit it's going up a bit okay and we remain bullish now i do not know whether it will shoot up very fast today or it may trade sideways but one of the way that you can determine is to look at the let me just bring out the chart for let me just bring out the chart for the SPY 5 minute. Okay. This is the 5 minute chart of the SPY here. And this is the daily chart of the SPY. And you can see it, is, it also forms a triangle and it's broken out of it. Now, usually, right, we look at the daily time frame, the weekly time frame, the hourly time frame to look at the bigger picture but for entry and timing purposes you need to look at the uh, smaller time frame for example for example the 15 minute chart or the 5 minute chart and i like to use the 5 minute chart as spy to determine whether we should be long or short intraday and for shorter swing periods um, so what we have here was uh, the spy was below right the in the red zone below the red zones means is below the 5 minute 50 ma i just use it as a filter so it broke a trend line here and then it went above into the white zone and for the most part of this day here it was in the white zone and as you can see the nice rally up it was in the white zone most of the time so it was conducive that day intraday longs swing longs and as long as the spy which uh, is the ETF that tracks the S&P 500 for most of you who do not know right, for those of you who do not know it tracks and mimics the S&P 500 as long as spy stays above the 5 minute 50 MA we should continue to be bullish now if it drops below this uh, into this red zone uh, Try not to long stocks. I, I have noticed that it's best to long stocks uh, intraday or swing when the five minute chart of SPY is in the white zone. So if it continues to stay in the white zone, yes, if you're trading setup, you should take it. But when it drops below it, even if you have a trading setup, like swing trade or intraday, try not to long because the odds are you're not playing with the trend. Now let me just switch back to the investing chart and look at the text. Okay, this is daily chart of uh, the Nasdaq 100 and as you can see it has broken out of some kind of ascending triangle. For those of us who study support and resistance, and this is an, a resistance area. So Nasdaq dropped and then it went up. And why did it drop? Because it hit the resistance area. And after that, it formed a bottoming tail and it broke out of this triangle. And for those of, of us who know the concept of support and resistance, we know that um, resistance, once broken, becomes a new support. Therefore, if Nasdaq continues to go up and then correct, right, this will be a great area to find place, uh, longs and it is very likely to keep the drop in check and it will continue to, uh, it might find support here and then bounce back up. Let me just show you some stocks that are, uh, it's always good to look at individual stocks as well. Let's take a look at Apple. Now, Apple is one of the stocks that you really, really need to study. Why? Because Apple uh, is in the Dow, is in the S&P, and is in the Nasdaq, and it's also in the technology sector XLK. So, Apple, which is the biggest company in the world in terms of market capitalization, and because it has uh, such its tentacles reach all over the world people all over the world buy its products it's very important for you to look at apple if apple you see <clears throat> there's something interesting about apple here 
If Apple drops, it's likely that the market will also drop. See, when it dropped, actually it dropped a few days before the market plunge. And it took the market down with it. And then it found support at the 200 MA and went back up. And the market also went back up with it. So it's very important for you to look at Apple. Uh, it's very rare that uh, the stock market rarely uh, will continue without Apple going up as well. Okay, so at this moment, we can see that Apple uh, is breaking out into new high. If you switch to the 60 minute chart of Apple, you can see that actually it uh, let me just draw the trend line. Okay, don't know whether you can see or not. Color, let me just select black okay, so that you can see it clearly. It has also broken out of its own. It's broken out of its own 60 minute triangle. That is why when it kept out, it went up very fast. See, when uh, a stock breaks out of a pattern in the 60 minute chart, it can often send the stock intraday higher. And uh, let's have a look at the semiconductors. Semiconductors have been making new highs. It has broken above this resistance area okay and as you know when resistance is broken it will become a new area of support in the event it corrects now all these points to bullishness in the market a rising 200 ma also points to bullishness in the market so uh thanks for watching uh and i'll see you in the next one